Hey everyone, Victor is here, your guide to all things organic chemistry, and today I want to talk about the azenolases of alkynes. We've already seen azenolases before for alkenes, so that was for a double bond, now we'll do the same for the triple bond. And the azenolases of alkynes is actually much easier than for alkenes. In this video, we'll go over everything you need to know about the azenolases, including a quick trick how to easily draw your products correctly every single time. So grab your cup of coffee and notebook to work through the examples with me, hit the like button for good luck on the test and let's get started! So as usual we are going to start with the mechanism for this reaction. Uh, scratch that. You're actually not responsible for the mechanism for this reaction. And if you really want to put somebody on the spot, ask them about the mechanism of this reaction. I'd be surprised if many chemists will be able to draw one for you. But if you're curious, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video about this mechanism. Anyways, since we're not responsible for the mechanism, we can move on to the shortcut right away. Let's look at this reaction. The azenolases will cut through the triple bond, giving you the corresponding carboxylic acids. So how exactly does that happen? How do we get those products? Well, we are going to start by taking our starting material, we'll redraw it with a much longer triple bond, then erase the triple bond, and at this point I suggest you actually indicate the carbons that used to make a triple bond, because this way uh, you will be less likely to add you know, extra carbons to your molecule or anything of that sort. Then we're finally going to add CO double bond and the OHs to make each of those carbons into a carboxylic acid functional group. And of course, we can redraw these molecules to make them look a little better with more correct bond angles. And we are done! Notice that these reactions don't have any workup or anything else. It's as simple as it looks. Just like with alkenes, if you have multiple triple bonds in your molecule, all of them will be cut. So for instance, in this case, we'll cut through both triple bonds, giving us one piece of the molecule, a carboxylic acid from the left part of the molecule, the second piece coming from the middle part of the molecule, and the last piece makes a carboxylic acid with just one atom, which is called formic acid, by the way. Similarly, if we have a cyclic alkyne, let's say like this one, we'll likewise cut through the both of those triple bonds, making two equivalents of the same carboxylic acid. And that's all I have for you today, guys. Leave me your questions and feedback in the comments below, hit the like button, subscribe for daily organic chemistry updates, watch this video next, and I'll see you tomorrow!